I'm Pete Mundo. We're Heartland College Sports. Um, I so appreciate you being here as a part of the show. I will end the show with this rant because I just got triggered by this based on a comment I saw on YouTube. So let me end the show here on Heartland College Sports with this rant that is intended for Desmond Howard of College Game Day. Desmond Howard, during the pick section at the end of College Game Day, we wrote about this at heartlandcollegesports.com, said he did not know why they were picking the K-State-Arizona State game. Maybe the dumb son of a gun didn't realize that both teams were 7-2, and two, they were in the hunt for a Big 12 championship game, and the game was airing on his own company's network. That's right, ESPN. This guy has been the biggest dunce on that show for years. And for him to be like, I don't know. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Why are we picking this game? I guess I'll pick Kansas State. The show, which I always loved, has become such propaganda for the SEC and to a lesser extent, the Big Ten. The Big 12, they haven't been to a Big 12 game in over two years at this point, like a true Big 12 game. The last time they were at one was KU-TCU two years ago when KU had that great start to the season. They were in Lawrence for that game. They give less and less attention to the conference. Meantime, Big Noon Kickoff is going to five Big 12 games already this season. They are loving the Big 12. They realize the fan bases are engaged. And I get it. ESPN is in bed with the SEC. But don't pretend to cover the sport anymore. Just put the stuff on. Just here's what you should do, okay? Because they also have a pregame show on the SEC network. Just do a dual stream. College game day to ESPN and college game day to the SEC network. Because it's the same thing at this point. You've got supposedly experts on that panel like Desmond Howard. All the guy does all week is supposedly read about, listen to, and watch college football coverage. And he doesn't know why his own panel is picking K-State Arizona. The guy's a two-bit huckster. He has been forever. He's the worst part. Well, actually, he's not even the worst part of the show because Lee Corso's half dead, and he's still on the show. I love Lee Corso, but at this point, it's elder abuse what's going on with Lee Corso. Herb Street's amazing. Um, I, I like Reese Davis as well. And I really like McAfee. If it wasn't for McAfee, I don't think I'd watch that show at all. But McAfee does keep me coming back. I think he's wildly entertaining and smart. But my goodness, between the dunce that's Desmond Howard and Lee Corso being three feet under, he's halfway to six. And then you factor in the Big 12 bias against the conference. It is impossible to watch. Really is. And with that, we're out. I'm Pete Mundo, Heartland College Sports. Subscribe to the channel, please, if you haven't yet. It's going to be a hell of a final few weeks here. And uh, hit the thumbs up on the video as well. That helps us out tremendously. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Leave that five-star rating and review on the podcast if you haven't yet. Apple and Spotify. Thank you, guys. We're growing because of you. We appreciate you. Have a great day. Go Big 12. We'll talk to you soon.